interested in this show. Uh, I should just say there are loads more actually doing a very important job, so they can't be here, but they are here with me in spirit. Um, I wasn't nervous, and now I'm here. I'm really emotional because this is my last year. Um, because I knew I was going to be emotional, I asked our director, Andy, to write down a few words uh, to sum up the last seven years of our life. Um, for the last seven years, I've given the show everything, my heart. There hasn't been a day gone by where I have not uh, dealt with this show, uh, been responsible for this show, and I acknowledge that, that is one of the biggest privileges in the world. Whoa! So thank you. Thank you. Greetings and salutations, Andy Fickman here, aka Hair Director. And on behalf of myself and our brilliant writers, Larry O'Keefe and Kevin Murphy, I have asked our spectacular producer, Paul Taylor, to read these words. There's then two paragraphs about me, and I'm not reading it, because it's really <laughs> <laughs> um, Paul and the magnificent Bill Kenwright, who can't be with, here with us, but without him, we literally wouldn't be here, um, have provided Heather's a chance to be seen by countless people here in London and on what is now our second UK and Ireland tour. Without their tireless beacon, our little musical we would never have been seen by anyone. And now, thanks to our stage capture shot at this very theatre, the world can experience the magic of Heather's forever. We also give tremendous thanks and love to all of our past and current cast, band, crew, and creators for helping us build this dream. Special love to Kiki, to Beth, and the entire team at the other palace, and to John Woodley, and the entire staff team at BKR. And we would be nowhere without our super talented creative team, Jeremy Wooten, David, Dan, Ben, and our partner in crime 24-7, Gary Lloyd. And truly, what has kept us running all these years is you. Our spectacular audiences, our beloved core nuts, without you, there would never be an us. So all we have to say is thank you. Thank you for shining your light on our show, and you've made our time in Show in Ohio by the other palace absolutely beautiful. So now comes the time we raise our scrunches high and salute all of you mythic bitches for showing so <laughs> much. <laughs> Show after show, you have proven to the world that our love is gone. Um, I should also just say, um, the thing about theatre that no one tells you is it's complicated, it's nuanced, it's sensitive. This building and this show, I can promise you, as someone that's been on the front of it for seven years, is like a family. And like any family, it's complicated and it's messy, but every single decision made here, in this building and on this show, has been made with love and integrity and for this show. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart as a person that's been the biggest cheerleader of this show, thank you. Theatre doesn't happen with just me. Theatre happens with all of these people sacrificing their lives. The people in front of house, the people in the band, they really, really do sacrifice their lives. And to you, thank you for coming out. Thank you for being here. And I can't promise no more heavens. <laughs> Saying we would not be anywhere without the wonderful 
Jeremy Wooten as his
And um, I just wanted to say, I wanted to leave you with the quote that's stuck in the book, day one, and it's something that resonates with all of us, I know it's what brings us all together as a community. And um, on 3 2 1, I would say, uh, we will, I will count down 3 2 1, and everyone's going to go, how are you on this book? But um, I'll leave you with this quote first. <laughs> so I just wanted to say, we'll endure it. We'll stop. <laughs>